Hey, it's Ramsey Dewey over here at the Animal 2 location in Shanghai, China. And Tian and I are going to show you some inverted triangle stuff. Somebody asked me the other day, hey Ramsey, can you show me all the triangles? And if you're really interested in learning all the triangles, check out Mastering Triangle Chokes by Neil Melanson. But even though that book is like 300 pages of just triangle chokes, it's just from one position, from the closed guard, from the bottom. The triangle is super versatile, you can hit it from pretty much any position, even the bad ones. But today, let's go over inverted triangles from inverted guard. Today we're gonna to start from butterfly guard. Okay. With the first option, I am pushing him. I'm pushing him over and walking him back. With the second option, I am pulling him down and rolling him. One more time, push and then pull. Where do the triangle chokes fit into this? We can hit it from the top after we sweep or we can hit it from the bottom before we sweep. Let's hit it from the bottom. Notice how I frame with my left hand against my partner's left shoulder to prevent me from pulling him on top of me. That's the last thing you want when attempting to invert is pulling the other guy on top of you and giving him side control. So make sure to frame against the shoulder. If you have difficulty finishing an inverted triangle, bear in mind you can also finish with a Kimura on the near side arm, just like this. The inverted triangle to the Kimura is one of my highest percentage go-to submissions. The Kimura and the triangle choke have the distinction of not only being powerful submissions, but powerful control positions by themselves. Now, when you combine both submissions together as control positions, you have an enormous amount of control that few fighters are able to escape from. While some submission combinations might be a flashy pipe dream, this one is based on solid control positions. Now we can hit the inverted triangle after we do the sweep into donkey mount. I drive my hips into my opponent, walking my hands back to gain donkey mount. Watch my feet closely. Now I will clear one shoulder, pass that leg over, bring it under his head, and wrap up the figure four triangle around his head and arm, finishing from the top this time. Watch one more time. I get low on the legs, controlling the legs so I don't get kicked in the head or kneed in the head as I wrap the triangle around the head and arm. Pay close attention to what my upper body does during this transition. I squeeze his legs tightly, sprawling down to ensure I have maximum control over both sides of my opponent's body. Oh yeah, the transition from donkey mount into side control. This is a really important transition, even if you have no intention of ever using an inverted guard or donkey mount, a lot of people end up here by accident. And if you don't know what to do, you'll probably get rolled over and you might be thinking, well, you know, I just do BJJ and you don't score for donkey mount. That is correct, which makes it even more important to be able to transition to a scoring position. So let's go from donkey mount to side control. To make this transition without getting rolled over or having a leg caught, make sure to keep firm pressure on your opponent's legs. Keep at least one in check at all times. I can squeeze his legs together between my legs to prevent him from grabbing me so I can easily pass a leg over the top. Make sure to use your body weight to control your opponent. Notice how I am leaning on him, wrapping his head up with my arm as I pass my leg over the top. It is imperative that you take away all the space. Don't give the bottom guy any wiggle room at all while you make this transition. Seal off all the spaces. It's very important when we're making that transition not to get our arm or a leg caught. Okay, because it's very easy to do if we give the bottom guy too much space. If I fail to control my opponent's legs and give him a wide gap of space where he can catch my leg, I've basically given him a way out and a controlled position. It's not too dissimilar from a deep half guard where he can sweep me just like this. 
So again, Donkey Man is a position a lot of people find themselves in accidentally and they don't know what to do. So it's really important to understand what to do when you actually get there. You do have some submission options. In addition to the inverted triangle and the Kimura that I already showed you, the donkey mount does present a few submission options, including but not limited to a figure four toe hold like this and a knee bar like this. But most of your high percentage options are going to come from dominant positions like side control. On a side note, I did that transition a little bit differently, leg lacing with my arm like this. My opponent's instinctive reaction is to try to squeeze my arm, which allows me to more easily pass my leg over the top and move to side control. Try that out. Thanks for watching. Now get out there and train.